Folks, welcome back to AP Unfiltered. We got a bit of a different one today from the normal slate of videos, but it's still in line with what we talk about here on the channel. I'm sure most people know who Mr. Beast is. And a little while back, his sidekick, Chris Tyson, decided to essentially leave his family to transition. It caused a whole bunch of controversy in the online world and set the internet on fire. And the situation has gotten much worse since then. Folks, before you start the show, hit the like button on the video, the follow button on the channel, the sub button if we're over on YouTube and share the show with a friend. Take the URL, post your social medias, hit the join button down below, either in the description of the video or below or on the main page for $5 a month to help support alternative media. But let's get into it. From the direct, Ava Chris Tyson, new controversy and allegations explained. YouTube star Ava Chris Tyson is at the center of an online controversy following allegations being leveled at the internet personality. Tyson is a well-known associate and good friend of Jimmy, Mr. Beast Donaldson, appearing in various prank and challenge videos on the Donaldson's channel for his record-breaking 305 million subscribers. Several YouTube videos have surfaced alleging popular internet star Ava Chris Tyson of doing damning crimes. Tyson finds himself in the center of some controversy following accusations against him that he previously engaged in a sexual inappropriate relationship with a minor. Two videos uploaded since June 25th laid out these claims saying Tyson, who was around 20 at the time, started messaging the alleged victim when he was 13, all the way up until they met three years later when he was 16. The accuser claims that evidence of the relationship includes screen grabs of one-on-one -on -one Discord calls between the two, as well as the victim renting a camper van and allegedly meeting up with Tyson in a secluded rural location. And for some added context real quick, check out this video from Parlo. I'll link the video down in the description of the video. Now, for those of you who don't know, longtime friend of Mr. Beast, Chris Tyson, has recently been called out for numerous disgusting actions. One such video made by Aatrox has gone viral, detailing Chris's really gross and disgusting infatuation with lovely content, which for those of you who don't know, lovely content is basically sexualized art based off of young children. And another video made by Prism, which hasn't been picked up by many people yet, details Chris Tyson's very weird and unsettling interactions with a child who was seven years younger than her when she was in her 20s. Now, to summarize Chris Tyson's infatuation with lovely content, I have to first preface the fact that any grown adult that shows interest in art depicting the sexualization of children is a complete f weirdo. So that's not a great look whatsoever. And in the sense of being as clear as possible, if you are engaging with things like this, with minors as well, you are an evil person. I don't know how much more clear I can be about that. I've been pretty consistent with this. There should be no reason that a grown man should be messaging and talking to minors over the internet like this. But I also found something interesting. You might remember recently, there was another popular streamer named Dr. Disrespect who was accused of talking to a minor in the past. He ended up confirming that he was, and the internet came for him like that scene in Pirates of the Caribbean with Johnny Depp running down the beach with a whole tribe chasing him. But the internet's having a little bit of a different reaction when it comes to this case. And one could only assume that the difference here, because you always have to look at what the differences are, you compare and contrast the situations. The only difference here is that one is a straight white male and the other is a transgender woman. Now, I'm not the guy who's gonna sit here and be like, straight white men are being persecuted. I'm just calling it out as I see it. And that's the big glaring difference here. For the record, I don't care what you are, gay, straight, trans, whatever, I don't care, leave the kids alone. That's been pretty clear. I've been pretty clear with that since the very beginning. Now, once again, you are evil if you are engaging in actions like this. Take a look at the side-by-side -side of how two very popular content creators online, Pokemon and Valkyrie, reacted to the situations of Dr. Disrespect and Chris Tyson. With regard to Chris Tyson, Pokemon says, I don't know all the details regarding the Ava situation using the trans name. But I want to make it clear, any inappropriate behavior towards minors is unacceptable regardless of who you are. Okay, great. I like that statement. That's a good statement. But the problem is she goes on and says this. It's a shame that people will see this as an opportunity to attack the trans community as a whole. One person's actions does not reflect on every single trans person, so please don't view it that way. No one is saying it's every single trans person. We're just simply pointing out that we see a trend developing here. Now, this was the response to Dr. Disrespect. One word, yuck. And to be fair, most people had a little bit more to say than just that. Now, when it comes to Valkyrie, her tweet says, I'm still in the process of moving, so I haven't been able to fully keep up. But in the meantime, since I've been tagged a bunch, 
a word we can't see on YouTube, but stands for minor attracted person equals bad, while trans does not equal minor attracted person. But you can see the words that they're actually saying. The actions of one trans person does not mean all. Suck to see so many anti-trans people act as if it does. I'm hoping Ava speaks up. Dr. D, for Dr. Disrespect, is still gross. And I agree with that. I did make a video a while back about Dr. Disrespect before he actually copped to it. So I should probably do an update video to that. Lastly, to the incels that only tagged Poke and I to, quote, speak up even though everybody did after d did himself you're weird focus your hate towards the once again word i can't say for once and like i said i'm just looking at the trend here i'm just calling it for what it is it seems like more and more we're having instances where people who tend to identify in the lgbt specifically the t uh realm are engaging in an action that rhymes with the words booming looming and assuming okay and end wokeness responded with this tweet Chris Tyson literally abandoned his family to a fetish. Are we shocked at the allegations? Not in the slightest. Mr. Beast has some explaining to do. Now, to be fair to Jimmy Donaldson, a.k.a. Mr. Beast, I don't know all the details surrounding what he did know and what he didn't know. But the fact remains that a lot of his audience does tend to skew towards a younger demographic. In fact, my nephews watch his content. And a lot of people... And parents rightfully pointed out that when Chris Tyson decided to transition, it could potentially make a lot of parents wary that the content is no longer suitable for their children due to raising a lot of questions and can potentially confusing the children. And that's a fair argument because not everybody subscribes to the pillars of gender ideology as a good thing. And guess what? That's okay. Even though the left will scream from the mountaintop that it's not okay for that to be the case and it's bigotry and just unbridled hatred. It's not. It's just a difference in values and a difference of opinion. One's based in fact, one is based in fantasy. It's just realizing that there's a binary of gender and people can cosplay all that they want, but it does not make it a fact. But here's another example of left-wing creators deflecting off of the story because they have no moral backbone and their positions tend to be incongruent with one another. Take a look. Has Hassan talked about Mr. Beast Chris? Oh no, don't ban me, just a question. I'm not gonna ban you. I do want you to really think about it, though. As a political commentator, as a political commentator, do you think, do you think personally that right now I'm going to be talking about YouTubers? If it was someone you hate, you'd be talking about them? There are plenty of people I hate. And I don't talk about them in times like this because... I, unfortunately for you, fucking weirdo drama perverts, okay, unfortunately for you, there are 50,000 other adults here that actually are coming in here for political commentary. Oh, okay. So the people in the chat are the perverts because they'd like you to make a statement on this. Not the person who was accused, and by the way, there's actually evidence of messages between Chris Tyson and a minor. No, 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 no. The perverts are the, are the chat for asking for a comment from a left-wing commentator who has a history of defending the trans community in the face of controversy. Okay, Hassan. I love how he said also, by the way, that there's 50,000 other people in the, 50,000 other adults in his chat. Okay, dude, you don't have 50,000 people, period, let alone 50,000 adults. Your audience also skews younger as well. So pipe down for a second. And people as well continue using the word political when they should be using the words cultural and value-based because that's exactly what it is. And that's why you're seeing the bifurcation in this country along cultural lines while they're calling it political when it is not whatsoever. Gender ideology is not political. The left wants to make it political to detract from the fact that it's actually cultural. And when there's cultural differences, there raises a whole bunch of other questions with it. It's cultural and value-based. Deciding to crucify one person but defending another person is not political. It's value-based, especially when it falls under the umbrella and in this context. Chris Tyson did release a statement after deleting all the tweets, and it read something like this. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. Oh. Now you want to focus on your family and your mental health. I don't buy that for one second, and I don't think a lot of people will accept that either. I'm curious what everybody's thoughts are. Drop a comment down below with what you believe is the case and what side you tend to lean on based on the available evidence we have as of now. Because remember, these stories are always developing. 
But listen, folks, that's all I got for you today. If you appreciate this type of content and you think I've earned it, hit the like button on the video, the follow button on the channel, the sub button if you're over on YouTube, share the show with a friend, take the URL, post your social medias, and hit that join button for $5 a month over here on YouTube. You can help support alternative media. But I appreciate you guys being in here, staying informed as an American, a moral obligation. And until next time, catch y'all on the next one.